Andrew here, Weekly Weebook. Today is 21st of uh, October, 20 past 8 in the morning. Market closed, looking at the uh, May contract first, 2019 UK wheat. Market closed, um, got the yearly chart with monthly candles in front of us. Closed Friday night, 176.50. Uh, we've got the third red candle now as we're coming to the end of October. Um, so where can we look for support if we continue to fall down uh, my eyes immediately drawn to this level here this swing high here which was 160 whole number as well uh, will we come down to test this swing high here 100 at 170. let's go down further see what we can see this is a more zoomed in area on the monthly chart and you can see here these red candles here 176.50 but as we can see above all the moving averages all pointing up so the long term trend is up, but we want to identify what's happening in the short term. Let's have a look at the daily contract. We can see here last week we eroded pretty quickly, uh, five pound a ton from a support here. We were we were at 180 last last Friday uh, when we identified this range. We've now tested the bottom of this range. We gap below it here, and we almost looked as though we were right heading down to 170. Uh, this gap was filled on Friday with this big green candle here, and we went back back into the range. Uh, Scastic's heavily oversold now, so we've got to try to identify, is this a major move? Are we breaking away from the 60 SMA? If you look on this chart, um, you can see that all the moving averages now are in line to point downwards, and we are below the 10 SMA that we're watching. It's a short-term indicator, so I would think uh, it's a difficult one to call, but at the moment it looks as though we have lost the support. Um, I wouldn't call this swing low completely broken at the moment, so we could see a rally back up to 180. But if that was the case, um, I would look at that as a selling opportunity uh, rather than um, a sort of um, something new of a new trend, unless we come back up and fly through the 60 SMA. Um, just pop down into the 10. Uh, you can see the red line, the 10 here on, on the short term one, and we've well and truly come away from that now. We're, we've closed below it uh, by 10 days plus, and we've got three big red candles here. We had a gap here, so I wouldn't be surprised the market comes back up to test it. If it doesn't hold, then I would think we've got all chance of continue to fall. But we can't predict that, unfortunately. We've just got to let it play it out, and we've got to see whether this um, swing low here does hold on this retest when we come back up. Let's have a look on the new crop. New crop, um, that is eroded quite badly compared to, it was holding its own compared to the old crop, but that has been forced down as well. Um, we can see the gap down here as we came to test this swing low at 160. Stochastic's still looking oversold and could go down further. So we've got to keep an eye on this one. And also you can identify here that we've came down test the 60 SMA we've now now backed off away from it and we've taken out the swing low so the same thing we need to keep a close eye on it next week to see whether we regain back up to test the 10 and 30 and fill this gap if we do and then see action downwards then probably would see this coming down to test sort of 150 but can't predict the same as the old crop we've got to let the play out at the moment it is concerning but we just need to see final confirmation and just pop down onto the daily with the 10 SMA and you can clearly see the 10 SMA here and how we've eroded this and this week's price action has not been good uh, and we have gapped down so we'll see what happens next week and we'll put an eye but needs to be kept an eye on the market during next week thanks a lot for watching goodbye